we have Jack Elliott, the famous coach of the Darren Allen Football Club. Jack, you coached there for many, many years after coming from Ballarat. Must have been a great thrill for you to come back to the hometown. Yes, I've always wanted to come back to Darren Allen and uh, I got that opportunity in 1956 to take up the coaching role there. And I uh, acted as playing coach for eight years and then just continued on as a player for the next probably five or six years. D do you recall how many actual games you played for Darren Allen? Oh, it's something like 260 or something like that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but around about that. Yeah. And you coached uh, sides into the grand final as well as coaching the premiership sides? Yeah, won the premiership in 1960. I think we played off in four or five successive grand finals without success. I was happy to get the one in 1960, which was our first flag ever, so that's good as a narrow well, team. And then in 1980, I came back as non playing coach and coached tied to a premiership again in 1980. Yes. Coached again in 81, and then that was it. Yeah. You also, as I said earlier, came back from Ballarat Football Club. You played in, a, in one premiership or two, a couple there? Two premierships from Ballarat. And some of the great players you played with there? Oh, Percy Hunt was the coach. He was a former Geelong player. And we had uh, Maxie Orr, who was unfortunately killed in a car accident the night before the week of the grand final in 1954. Teddy Chellis. Uh, Oh, quite a lot of good players. So, so, coming from Ballarat to coach Darren Allen, that was your first coaching stint. Yes. How did you find the transition from being a player going into being a coach? Well, I enjoyed it because I sort of always had a hankering to be a coach and uh, you play these things over in your mind before it happens and it went pretty well the script. I got the confidence of the players, which I think you've got to get. and. Uh, I think the best way to get the best out of the players is to have them have their confidence. Don't ask them to do anything you can't do yourself and uh, try and keep, keep them all together as a team. And you're, you're recruiting it that year. I mean, you had a few from uh, Geelong, the Everett boys, O'Brien, yep. Denny Carroll, the great Billy Clark. That was a great, uh, I would have thought, recruiting coup. It was. It for the Western Plains. Yeah, it was a bit of an unknown when we got them, but we had good people getting to know good people, and that was the main crux of the fact that they were good blokes and they fitted in beautifully with the team we had. It was, do you think that was one of your traits as a coach to rather than get any player just to get these wonderful people to come into the club? Yeah, I think I think you would know that very well as you coach and coach and coach and you've got to know which players you want to make your team a success and I think that was the best part of it. We knew what sort of players we wanted, what position players we wanted and uh, we were able to get them. And Jack, uh, does it sadden you now that uh, the club itself has to merge with, uh, not Lismore, I don't mean that in a detrimental way, but I think it's good, but uh, it must be a little bit disappointing for you. It is, it was. When the, when the Western Plains League disbanded, which was one of the most disappointing things as far as I was concerned, and the fact that they had to merge with Lismore was, you know, probably... Uh, we lived through a golden era, you were there at that time, and I think that was the golden era of the West Plains, not only football-wise, but population-wise and prosperity-wise, and uh, to see that decline to the extent where they lost the league and actually lost their own football team was disappointing. And at the same time, to come back to a wonderful day like this, that uh, I know that you and Fenton also have organised, uh, must give you a buzz to see so many people coming back here for this wonderful day. And that, that, it makes you realise what great times they were, when these great people, as they are, still prepared to come long distances to meet once a year, and uh, it does give me a buzz, yeah, for sure. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much to Jack Elliott, the great player. Sorry, Jack, I forgot to ask you. The Brun Trophy, how many did you win? The three. best and fairest of the league. Three, three Brun Trophies. Three Brun Trophies. Yes, I'm very proud of that fact. And uh, it was not so much winning the Brun Trophy, but having been able to be consistently fair every year. You know, it's, it's 
Jack, I'd be very, very proud to win one of those, but three, that is just magnificent. Thank you very much, Jack Elliott.